must be the MRI. Good morning, I'm Sharad Kutin and welcome to BFM's Morning Headlines. It is the 20th of December. We are racing towards the end of the year uh, and a year that's ending in dramatic fashion. We had just uh, announced yesterday a clear indication that the government is being very touchy about issues in the media and in fact the Heat Weekly uh, is now uh, undergoing a suspension. They have been given a show cause order. It's not clear what's going to happen to them, but it doesn't look good for the media. It's ending on a very low note. But here is the mainstream media, none of which have been suspended because they haven't done a story about how the Prime Minister and his wife spend money. So, here it is. Relationship between KL and Jakarta. It's a special relationship. Yes, it is. And if you go back far enough in time, you'll know part of it is shaped by the Cold War. Indonesia, of course, is now a democratic country. It's gotten rid of its Ministry of Information. Uh, it's got an open and free press, very vibrant. Uh, not quite what we have here in Malaysia. But these two men, they're in a buggy, uh, enjoying a private moment. Now, that uh, said, the other newspapers also cover this um, the New Straits Times uh, has a little pun, made to last, it's a, of course a, a reference to the relationship, but made here of course is a reference to domestic workers, many of whom um, come from the Indonesian archipelago. The question is, is this all we have in our relationship to Indonesia? It's a vast market, it's, a, it's an old and uh, diverse and vibrant culture. Um, here we have in the star also a focus on the main issue. So whatever the relationship might be, it's often reduced to rather domestic concerns. Also in the news today is the PMR results. And here you have a picture of uh, lots of young people, uh, all of whom are smiling, though I think the vast majority of people, with, uh, students uh, coming out of this aren't smiling or they're depressed or whatever it is. But yeah, look at those young men, all big, big grins. Uh, here, people with disabilities overcoming it. In fact, Harian Metro has a wonderful story about a girl who was teased about her brace. Uh, she was called Robot, but Robot had her revenge by doing very well. And we'll look at that later on. But here it is, the way we cover the PMR. Uh, here, some dejected Malaysian footballers. They lost out in Yangon, so they're not going to go any further. Sina Harian uh, takes a very different tack today and looks at the important issue of rising cost. Malaysians and the public in general are very concerned about rising costs. And this is a story about electricity tariffs. Here we talked uh, yesterday about Slango and the fact that it's a minority shareholder in the concessionaires for the intercity tolls, where they can use that power to stop the rise in toll rates. Now, uh, here they have a, a professor of uh, economics weighing in on that question right there on the top there. Um, interestingly enough, the power of uh, bad press and in fact a public irritation about rising costs does have power. Look, it's down 2%. What are they referring to? The KL assessment rates. Now City Hall has decided to reduce rates. It's quite significant. If you're paying rates as a, a owner of a residential property, you will be paying no more than 10% of your current rate and if you are an owner of a commercial property that rate doesn't go up by more than 35 percent of your current um, cost so uh, that's good news in some respects uh, there's still some disgruntlement and we look we'll look to the papers to see how they cover that the malay mail um, goes a little off tangent with a discussion about um, dengue a lot of tangent but they clearly signaling there is a problem they say dengue deaths have increased by 137 percent looking at the year end total of deaths so by just a couple of days ago it was 83 is that significant i guess you'd have to look at the overall figures over the several years and see if it's trending now we end with harian metro here you have uh, Amanah Spatu. That's a really small story about a man uh, who runs a, he's a cobbler and people haven't picked up their shoes and he has some 600 pairs. No, he's not some sort of kleptomania. He's not holding onto them. He's in fact keeping them safe for his customers. So Amanah Spatu, I guess, refers to his sense of duty to shoes, which is a curious thing. Now there is the story of Robot. There she is. Uh, pressing her face up against what must be her mother, which is always very sweet. Uh, and she got eight A's, so good for her. And that football team, very sad, they lost. So the phrase of the day is, 
Adekwasa, Slango Adekwasa, I mean Slango has the power and in fact if we look at the KL rate assessment saga, I think people have the power. So, phrase of the day, Adekwasa, have the power. That's all we have for you this morning. It's been a pleasure serving you. I'm sure I'd cut in BFN's morning headlines on BFM 89.9.